Hello, this is Tofu and Trifo Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how I can turn anything in Blender into a sphere, no matter what it is. And we're going to really test it to see how uh, accurate it is because we have a cube here and we have Suzanne, the monkey head, and we have a, a model that I imported from Make Human. And I think this is really going to test it to see how uh, accurate it actually is when it turns anything or it simply turning anything into a sphere. Now, in order for this to work, you have to one be in edit mode, and then two. The second thing is, you'd have to actually have enough vertices, as, as I mentioned. I think I mentioned this before because, like, the fifth time I've had to re-record this tutorial. But you have to have enough uh, vertices on your mesh in order to turn it into a sphere. Now, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's go into edit mode by pressing tab on our keyboard, and the keyboard shortcut to do this is Shift Alt S and it turns to a double arrow and you just move your arrow back and forth and because uh, this cube does not have enough vertices in it we can't turn it into a cube or a sphere actually so let's left or right click to get out of edit mode or get out of that phase just in general and let's add some vertices to our cube here and press W on our keyboard subdivide and we're going to increase the cuts by going to this pop-up menu. We're going to left click on this parameter here. Give it a good number of vertices. And we're going to do that again. Shift Alt S. And move our mouse back and forth or just slide it to one side. And there you have it. There's our cube which has been turned to a sphere. Now that works really nice. But like I said before, let's test this out really to see how far we can go with it. Let's click on Suzanne, tab in edit mode. And another thing you should have to keep in mind is make sure that your whole mesh is selected. Because if it's, if it's not selected, if you press A, that deselects it. And press Shift, uh, Shift, Alt, S. See, nothing happens but we have to make sure the whole thing is selected by pressing A. A is a keyboard shortcut that selects everything in an, edited, in an editable mesh. So Shift Alt S again and now we have that double sided uh, arrow there. And let's move this over and yes it does it with Suzanne also. Yeah, Let's tab out. It's got some little little bit of uh, I guess imperfections there are dents in it but that's to be expected because we turned just turned a monkey a monkey head into a sphere so that's pretty impressive now like I said before the real test is going to come with this make human model we're going to see if this actually works because we have hands arms eyeballs teeth tongue everything is here in the dress and all that so this is really going to test to see press one to reposition our window here you can also you know, use in two points uh, eight and above you have the um, parameters over here these gizmos over here to help you simulate what you would do with the keyboard so if you hover your mouse over this and hold down left mouse button that helps you move and your viewport panning so to speak oh did a little bit too much there but yeah let's see how that keyboard shortcut works with the make human model so once again edit mode we have everything selected so shift alt s and let's see what happens oh oh okay that's uh no oh, that's surprising tab and oh okay that's okay that's really impressive to turn a human model into a sphere in case this, this keyboard is legit or this keyboard shortcut is legit all right so yeah that's how you can turn anything in blender you know a human model, uh, Suzanne Monkey Head, and the cube into a sphere and blender. Now, some people may think, well, what's the point of turning a human model into a sphere? It could be, you can um, use shape keys actually to actually assist with that to make it like an animated, uh, um, uh, what do you call that thing? Like graphics, animated graphics, so to speak. You can have like a whole line of spheres here that you've, that are actually. Uh, models, human models, and then you can uh, apply a um, what's that called? A uh, let me just let me just do it. Control Z, Control Z again. 
let's just apply that. Let me go to it's just extra for this tutorial because I'm just curious myself if this could be if a shape key could be applied to this. Where can I find my shape keys? Oh, there it is. Shape keys. Press plus and then plus again. Let's call this sphere model. Sphere model. Enter. Let's press one on our keyboard. And then we're going to. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's press tab here. And then let's uh, shift alt S. Okay. And then tab again. And that's, this should work. Let me see. Oh, it does. Okay, so yeah, you can have motion graphics like that. You can have like a line of spheres here, an unknown to the people. They look at it and they're thinking, well, it's just a bunch of, bunch of spheres. What's this supposed to be? And as you, you know, as the motion graphics keep going on, you just animate this value and it becomes a person. So that's a practical use for this and this aspect. So yeah, that's how you can turn anything in Blender into a sphere. And it's a Blender quick tip. And once again, thank you guys who have been watching the videos. And I hope this video specifically helps whoever is watching it. And thank you guys who have subscribed in the past. And those who are subscribing right now at this moment. And those who will subscribe in the future. Really appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.